Today was a historic day in U.S.-Cuban relations when Secretary of State John Kerry traveled to Havana to redesignate the U.S. interest in section in Cuba as the new U.S. Embassy and raise the U.S. flag over that embassy for the first time in 54 years. Diplomatic relations were cut off in 1961, and this is the end of a process of normalization of the relations that was announced by Presidents Obama and Castro in December of last year. This part of the process of normalization has been complex and difficult, but in the end it was successful as both countries now have functioning embassies in their capitals. But now that the ceremonial part of this is concluded and the embassies are open, both countries have to roll up their sleeves and get down to work on very complicated issues. The U.S. trade embargo remains in place and there are prohibitions on U.S. travel to Cuba. Americans can't travel as tourists. The U.S. is obviously very concerned about human rights in Cuba and freedom of expression and freedom of association and the future of uh, independent entrepreneurs there, which the U.S. would like to support and help uh, strengthen. So the period ahead may be even more complex and require more effort on the part of both governments.